have a card view here, we have an image, and we have a text. When I click any card view, a new activity starts and displays the image that was on the card which was clicked. So if I click the card with banana image, cucumber, and even pom-pom. So this is what we are going to learn. We'll also show you how you can be able to pass data. For instance, when I click this one, you can see past data that is open. So let's get started. This is a fresh project which I'm going to use. The first thing that I'm going to do is to add grid view, grid layout, sorry. Grid layout, I'm going to match palette. So before I continue, let me change this one to linear layout. And I'm going to give it orientation to be vertical. I'm also going to give it sub of six. So the height, I'm going to give it zero. I'm going to give weight six. The number of rows, I'll give three. The number of columns, I'll give two. That's all I need for my grid layout. The next thing I need is card view. So I'm going to have card view added to design. So back to my main activity, copy this one, paste it here. So I'm going to have extended close bracket. I'm going to have zero dp for the width and height. Then I'm going to give it column width. And I'm going to give it one, and then low width, and I'm going to give it one. Within it, I'm going to have linear yield, and I'm going to match palette and match palette. I'm going to give it orientation to be vertical. Within the linear yield, I'm going to have image view. I'm going to give it 150 as the height and width. I'm going to give it source, so I'm going to copy my images and paste them to my drop folder. I will leave the link on the description where you can download those images. And my source image. For the first card, I'm going to have this paper. Below it, I'm going to have the text view, lab content, and I'm going also to lab content here. The text I'm going to give is paper. I'm going to give it gravity, that is center. In this one, I'm also going to give it gravity, center. Top going to give it two size I'm going to give it 16 and even color I'm going to give it black so I'm going to give my card a margin of eight I'm also going to give it background color that is white and finally I'm going to give it an ID, before ID, I can give it elevation, and I'm going to give it five. So let's copy this one, and paste it below. Remember we have two columns and three rows. So I'm going to change this one to banana, and even I'm going to change the text. The same thing, I'm going to change this one to lemon. This one, I'm going to give it mango. And 
this one I'm going to have pow pow. And finally, I'm going to have few carbon. So I'm going to learn and see what we have first. Let's close this one. It was for preparation purposes. So the installation is ongoing. Let's wait. Launching activity. There we are. We have our card, we have our image and even the text. So I don't know why the text is not showing. Let's check on that. So I'm going to reduce this 150. I'm going to give it 100. I'm also going to give padding to 10. That is in my linear route. So let's learn again and see what we have. So there we are, we have the card, we have the image, and even the title of the image. So the next thing I'm going to do is to remove this action bar and even add on click. So to remove the action bar, it's simple. Just go to your styles and have no action bar. And then I'm going to give each card an ID. So for this one, the ID should be card apple. Then I'm going to have this one. Banana. This one instead of banana, it's lemon. This one is mango. Popao. And finally, we have cucumber. So let's learn. The next thing we are going to do is to add on click. So here we are, we don't have the action bar anymore. Then we have the IDs, but for now, if I click, nothing happens. So I'm going to go back and create a new activity. And I'm going to call it items. I'm also going to create a new one. This one I'm going to call it Activity Apple. This one I'm going to have another one. And I'm going to say Lemon. Then back to my main activity, I will have card apple dot set on click listener. Now I'm going to start activity intent this and I'm going to go to apple activity class. Then we have card lemon dot set on click listener. And I have intent and I'm moving from this to lemon activity class 
in finally I have card we have card apple we have card lemon and items so for the mango dot set on click listener and I'm going to have start activity intent and I'm going to move from this and I'm going to go to my items activity class the same thing I'm going to do for banana dot set on click listener and I'm going to have to start activity intent and I'm moving from this to banana activity uh, sorry to the same activity that is items activity class dot job so we have two more I'll leave those ones to you guys to try them out so as you can see when I click Apple I want to open a specific activity that is activity Apple when I click lemon I want to open a specific activity but when I click the rest I want to open the same activity but check which item was clicked so I'm going to put extra the name here I'm going to say this is mango and then this one I'm going to put extra and the name I'm going to give banana so when you're opening a specific activity you don't need to pass any data because you know uh, which card was clicked but when you're opening a similar activity to determine which card was clicked you can push the value to the other activity so it will go to activity here and i'll have back then i'll have data i will have intent dot get string extra and the name here i'm going to receive is the name for now i'm just going to log and i'm going to have data plus data then on my app activity you can have an image view here lab content lab content let's actually give it 150 115 going to give it top top of palette I'm going to give it bottom bottom of palette I'm going to give it start start of palette and even end end of palette with the source i know this is a apple activity so i just need to use that one you can give it id image view then the lemon activity i know specifically this will open when you click on the lemon but now when on the item activity it's being opened by two cards so what i need to do is have this image view back here and i will see when so i'm going to switch data so if the name is let's say the name that i'm passing mango and banana so if it's mango I'm going to have my image view dot set image resource all dot drawable dot that is mango if it's banana I'm going to have the image view dot set image resource and drawable dot banana so let's learn and see so the reason i've done this guys is because some users want to open a specific activity when you click on a specific card others want to open the same activity but display different content 
based on the cricked item. So I'll begin with cricking apple. We have this. When I click banana, we have this. But now when I click mango or banana, let's see. I'm going to log and see. When I click banana, you are going to open and then we expect the name to be logged banana. So we have the data that is banana and we are displaying the image banana. So the same thing as mango. You can see the picture of mangoes. So for these two, we are opening the same activity but displaying different data by checking the value of the past name. Then this one, we are opening specific activity and displaying a specific image. Apple, banana, you can see banana. Then lemon, specific activity, but mango, the same. Actually, it's these two are opening the same and displaying different content based on the name that was passed, as you can see here. These two are opening specific activity, and hence we don't need to pass any value because we know the poll is going to open a new activity. So that's all, guys. Thank you for watching. If you need additional help, you can comment below. If you are new, hit that subscribe button for more tutorials. See you next time.